Hi again everybody, it's Tina from Frugal Fun and Fabulous again, and I'm here with part two of my massive Dollar Tree haul. So right now we're going to re uh, be reviewing, or show, I'll be showing you my health and beauty products that I picked up, and also my craft pro uh, products that I picked up. I'm really excited about some of this stuff, guys, like, so excited. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with um, health and beauty. Um, I, okay, so my story with these wipes the wipes that everybody always calls and gets. I picked up originally these retinol cleansing cloths, which I absolutely love. Um, they were really strong, like not, not chemical strong, but I mean the strength of the actual cloth is strong. Um, the, it, it, it didn't harm my skin at all, I actually, I love them. I use them like every night to take off my makeup. So of course I was completely devastated when I went back to Dollar Tree and I figured out that they weren't carrying them anymore, not the ones in my area anyway. Um, so I went ahead and picked up these uh, makeup remover wipes in the pink package and I just want to show you guys the difference in these wipes because it is huge. Um, I actually saved the last retinol wipe just to show you guys on this video um, because it's just such a huge difference. Okay. So I'm going to pull out one of each of these just to show you. It's, it's the quality that, that's really just, uh, yeah. Okay. So this first one I'm going to show you is the Retinol Wipe in the blue package. Um, these are made by Global Beauty Care. Um, I don't know if it's a Dollar Tree brand or not. No. Okay. So anyway, here is the wipe, right? It's nice and strong. You can kind of see it's, it's, it's pretty opaque. It's not like, um, you know, not see-through. I mean, it's it's good. It's like a really, it's a good quality wipe. It's something that you'd get, I mean, out of a drugstore brand, you know, in my opinion. All right, here is the pink makeup remover wipe. I mean, I don't know if you can see with the lighting, like, look at this. So, first of all, like, what the heck, you know? I mean, it's completely, if you do a side-by-side, -side, there's no comparison. Like, this is so much better. I'm actually going to actually put this back in the package so I can use it tonight and enjoy my last final love. Uh, you know, hurrah with my, my good wipes. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's literally no comparison. Like this, the pink package one is just flimsy. It's like, I don't even know what this is. So anyway, I was really disappointed with these wipes. I don't like them. Um, but I did pick up, while I was there, I found two different brands of wipes um, that I'm, you know, hopeful about. So the first one is this exfoliating facial wipe. Um, it's 30 in a package. Let me see who it's made by. Greenbrier International, so that's Dollar Tree's brand. Um, so yeah, that's the exfoliating facial wipe there. Um, this one is the moisturizing and cleansing acne wipe. There's also 30 in a package here, but I don't know if you guys can see the difference in how much thicker the acne wipes are. Um, these are also Dollar Tree brand. They do have the um, like acne medication salicylic acid in them, whereas these I don't believe do. Um, they have a little bit. I guess it's listed as one of the as one of the last ingredients. So I both have it in there. Um, you know, I'm gonna test these out. I'll let you guys know exactly like how these go down. Um, so anyway, yeah, I picked up two different brands because I was so sad about my retinol wipes. And if you guys see those in the store, make sure you pick those up because they're definitely, in my opinion, far superior to the ones in the pink package. Like there's just like again, there's no comparison. Okay. So the second thing I got is these Beano, um, I got Meltaways and Beano to go. These are actually for my husband. Probably don't need an explanation there, but yeah, those are for him. <laughs> um, I picked up this Natural White, the 5 Minute Whitening Treatment. Um, I saw another girl, I can't recall her name, but she's such a sweetie and she does really cool um, reviews on Dollar Tree stuff as well and hauls. And she uses this um, all the time, and her teeth look fabulous. So I am always looking for a teeth whitener. I use, like, Crest White strips a lot, and those are very expensive, as you guys know. Um, I've had my teeth professionally whitened before. So, yeah, I'm, like, a huge fanatic about teeth whitening. And uh, when I saw her teeth after she did them with this, I was stoked. So I am, like, really excited to try this out. I hope it works as well for me as it did for her. Um... I found, okay, so my Dollar Tree has the salon effects, guys, but literally, what, I don't know if you can see this pattern, I'm going to try to, like, ugh, it's, like, snake skin, I, this just, it's just not my thing, I don't know, I mean, I'm just going to, I bought them because they look fun, and it's like a toy to play with, basically, but I don't think I'm going to be rocking the snake skin, I mean, 
possibly like a nude nail with maybe an accent nail for like a day or two I don't know but like I don't know I just picked them up because everybody's hauling them I'm, they look like I said really fun I wanted to try them out and I'm hopefully we'll be getting more colors in but yeah this is the third Dollar Tree I've been to in three weeks I guess and this is all they've had so boo anyway um I did find which made me very very happy the L'Oreal Everstrong Overnight Hair Treatments. I got two of those. Um, I actually used this last night and it works really well. Um, it claims to not leave anything like on your pillow and I can tell you for sure that it didn't leave anything on mine. Um, you just take like a dollop, rub it through your hair. It says to concentrate on the ends, which I did. And yeah, I woke up. I am um, definitely, you could not like, if you have my hair type, you could not like put this in and then not wash your hair the next day. I mean, it looked like you know really like weighed down like it wasn't it looked like I had like regular conditioner in my hair like I couldn't be walking around town like that so make sure you do this on a night when you know for sure you're gonna wash your hair the next morning um, but yeah I'm actually really happy with it it left my hair really soft it smells really good it was a nice like you know kind of beauty treatment to do so yeah I was really happy to find those um, picked up some of these clips because I just needed some Okay, what else did I get? I got the nail art, uh, the, the Dollar Tree ones. These are like the little flowers and sparkly things. So I'm um, happy to try those out too. I'm excited. These colors are a little bit better for me. Um, I haven't done my nails yet, so please excuse them. They're hideous right now. Um, but yeah, I plan on like day, you know doing accent nails with these, so I'm excited to try these out. Um, also picked up some kids flushable wipes. These are just handy to have around the house for you know all kinds of stuff. Um, and the last thing I got for beauty, yeah, this is the last thing, is this deep cleansing mask. Um, I saw, uh, you know, you guys hauling the other products that are made by this exact, like, they have the same kind of label, the orange and blue type label on it. Um, I needed a new mask. I don't have one currently, so I was like, you know, I'm going to try this. I have a lot of facial washes and things like that, but I don't have a mask, so I'm going to give this one a try and see how it goes. So I'll let you guys know about that as well. All right, moving on to craft stuff. This one isn't really a craft. But I was so excited to find this, guys. Like, literally, this made my night. So this is an extendable mini tripod. Um, and as you, well, if you guys do videos, you probably are having the same issues as me. I have a regular standard size tripod. Um, but when I do my cooking videos, like, I have to literally put, like, a huge cutting board over my sink to try to get the angle right with my camera. So I found this little tripod. The little, the legs on it extend. So it kind of, it just sits like that. You can adjust the height of it by kind of moving the legs around. And it's got like the little screw top that screws in just like a regular tripod. But I thought this would be so cool for the kitchen because I'll be able to much more, it looks like I'll be able to like more easily angle the camera to get like the kind of close-up shots for cooking and food and things like that. So yeah, I was really stoked to find that. Um, so yeah, that's my deal of the day right there. I was really happy. Okay, so... I also got, everybody's making these, and of course I'm doing it too. Um, so we have, I picked up the candlestick, uh, and then I got this plate right here. It's got this really beautiful, like, beaded design around the edge of it. And the idea is, and the bowl, and it's, this, these are made by the same uh, company, the same color. It's the same set, basically. Um, the idea here is you take it like this, take the candlestick, and then you take the bowl, and you super glue all of that together like that and then it becomes like a little you can use it for your makeup for your jewelry you can use it for um, I would say even food if you wanted to put like cookies in it like maybe cupcakes around the bottom and cookies on top or you know something like that um, I don't know how well it'll hold up after washing I guess it depends on the glue that you use um, but I'm sure if you're careful it would probably be fine but anyway yeah so that's gonna be my next craft project I'm really excited about it whoops okay and then I picked up this, this is the original super glue, came in a two pack, they had all kinds of different um, kinds. So I got the kind that I thought would work best with this, and this one says specifically you can use it on porcelain. Um, so it says clean porous surfaces. They had some that was for wood and like all kinds of different things. So yeah, keep an eye out for super glue if you need it, the Dollar Tree does have it. Okay, moving on. Okay guys, so I wanna talk to you for one second about this glitter. So I picked up three packets of this glitter right here, and I was so thrilled to find these glitters. I, okay, so about maybe six, seven months ago, I picked up from Michaels this pack of Martha Stewart um, glitter, and it's really fine. It's just like this. Um, 
this packet was I think $30 now I did use a coupon on it but um yeah I mean it was a bit a minimum $20 I, I remember when I bought this I was like man I have never spent so much on glitter in my life now mind you it's beautiful glitter it's like really super fine it's gorgeous but when I saw this I had to pull this out because I'm going to show you guys a comparison side by side and I, I hope my camera can pick this up because it is literally unbelievable. Okay. I believe honestly that this might be made by the same exact company, truly. Alright, so here we go. This is the top pink glitter and this is the Martha Stewart. I really hope you guys can see this because I mean it is uncanny how close those are. I mean it like, I don't know, hopefully you can see. but. They're literally almost the same exact color. Um, there's a couple other colors too that I picked up that I was like, what? Um, let's see here. Okay, here's another pink. Really guys? Seriously? I paid $30 for glitter and I could have got it at the Dollar Tree. So please, please, please keep your eyes out for this. If you're a crafter, if you need glitter like in your life like me, I mean I, I use this, I make sparkly wine glasses, I use this to paint my toenails, like I do all kinds of stuff with this glitter. So this was a huge find for me. I'm probably going to go back and buy like five more of each of the colors just because I, you know, I can stick it in my craft drawer. They're, they're very storable. This is like a really, really good find, guys. And so like I said, I mean, don't go out and buy this. I think one of these little jars, somebody should go look at Michael's and see how much it is because I really, truly think they're like four or five dollars. So I mean, yeah, this is, this is a huge, huge find. Like seriously, guys, if you craft, if you like glitter, please pick this up. It's gorgeous glitter. It's really fine and sparkly. So anyway, enough about the glitter. I'm obviously a glitter fanatic. <laughs> all right so next thing I found are these cute little notepads and it comes with like the little flags here and I love these for work um, I work in a field where I do a lot of writing I'm always dealing with paperwork stuff like that so um, these are actually really cool these are going straight to work with me to go on my desk and I love the little flags too I just love these are also really cute as bookmarks um, so yeah this was really cute uh, second thing I got, oh, my little journal. I didn't find the really cute owl journals that a lot of you guys were finding, and I've been so sad because I really wanted one of those. But I needed a little journal to kind of keep. This is actually going to be used to uh, do the planning for my videos. So yeah, the journal is a. It was a cute little find, you know, for a dollar. It's really cute and, and fun. So yeah. And then the last thing I got, as far as crafts goes, is the owl. Yay! So um, I think it was Dollar Tree Crafts mentioned that she was going to stick this on her uh, like washer and dryer. And I actually have a stack of a washer and dryer also. So yeah, I thought that would be a super cute thing to do. Um, so yeah, that's actually what I'm going to be doing tonight is putting this owl sticker on there. If you can see, like here in the front, it's got the owl and it says hoot. And then in the back, it's got a little branch for him to sit on. So yeah, like the whole thing's put together right there. I hope you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, so I thought this was really fun. It's super duper cute. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. Alright guys, I think that concludes part two of my super mega Dollar Tree haul. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you do like my videos, please do subscribe. There's going to be lots more hauls coming up. I've got lots of things planned for you guys as far as cooking and crafting. So yes, please do subscribe. And to all the people that have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I love, like, love seeing that you guys are subscribing. I love all of your comments, all your likes. You guys have been so super sweet to me. So thank you so much. If there's anything that you want to see um, me do, if you want to see me do some crafts with the glitter maybe, something like that, please just let me know in the comments down below. And thank you again for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.